Hello, this is Matt Blackburn. You're watching Divine Superconductor TV. And this video is about why I was wrong about Omega-3 DHA. So if you YouTube, you'll pull up a ton of interviews with me where I'm talking about DHA. I believed in it at the time. I was super excited about it. Halfway through last year, I found out that it was toxic, that it was not conducive to human health, and that in fact, Omega-3 DHA is not even essential. We don't need to consume it even in our diet. I mean, it's actually beneficial if we don't consume it supplementally, especially, but even in our diet. You guys know that I was selling a DHA product. I don't endorse any DHA product anymore from any company. I recommend if you're on auto ship, cancel it. Do not supplement Omega-3 DHA. So I'll put a lot of references below. The marketers, the oil salesmen, will tell you there's 20,000 studies. Don't believe conspiracy theorists. How could those 20,000 studies be wrong? Well, they're all wrong because they're based on research by the burrs. And the marketers don't even know about this story. Or they do and they're lying and they're hiding it. So B-U-R-R-S, these scientists discovered these essential fatty acids in 1923. They said, oh, they're a critical part of the cell membrane, they're needed for the brain, they're needed for all these different systems in the body. Well, as it turns out, in the 1940s, we discovered that all the burrs did was create a vitamin B6 and a zinc deficiency, but mostly a B vitamin deficiency. They didn't know about B vitamins in 1923 when they discovered essential, which they're not, fatty acids. Didn't know about vitamins and even certain minerals. So all they did was by supplementing these omega-3s to animals, they depleted their nutrient status and that generated a ton of symptoms that they call EFA deficiency. It's not EFA deficiency, it's B vitamin deficiency, it's zinc deficiency, selenium deficiency. That's the real issue there. And so it was twisted. Just like you guys have heard about the coconut oil thing. It's bad for you. It causes heart disease. That happened recently. Or eggs. They're bad, then they're good. These things get twisted. Cholesterol, saturated fat, which is super necessary. This is like this cholesterol and saturated fat Ansel Keys story, but instead with omega-3s. And people need to catch up to this, and people will. We will spread this message far and wide. This will be the dominant conversation in hopefully less than a year, if I have anything to do about it. And we're going to teach people to not take DHA. So this is how it works. There's HUFA. That's what DHA, EPA, and ALA are. So you have docosahexaenoic acid, icosapentaenoic acid, alpha linoleic acid. Those are HUFA, highly unsaturated fatty acids. And then you move into PUFA, which are a lot less damaging, and those are polyunsaturated fatty acids. So we can call those our omega-6s. And then we move into monounsaturated fats, like in olive oil or avocado. And then from there, we move to saturated fat, which is safer, and then to the safest, which is cholesterol. And by safer, I mean the most stable. And this is the big marketing scam that even I got caught in for many years. They say, don't take rancid oils. Make sure that it's preserved. It's in Myron glass, all this BS. It might be protected from heat, probably not. But let's say hypothetically it is protected from heat and light. Well, what's in your blood? Heat and light. <laughs> your blood is hot, it's 98.6 and you have photons going everywhere, it oxidizes immediately if it even reaches your bloodstream. A lot of them don't, but the harm happens if it does. And if you supplement an omega-3 tincture or whatever and that hits your blood, what happens is they start circulating and breaking down into super inflammatory prostaglandins, leukotrienes, all of these things we've been taught are good. But the biggest issue with DHA is that it shuts down the thyroid gland. And this isn't an overnight thing. It takes years and years for it to build up. 
and the marketers will tell you, megadose it, take a ton of it. Well, if you do that for years and years and years, you're gonna have major, major health issues. So what led me to getting out of the business is ethics. I don't want to harm people. Uh, even if I'm a billionaire, I can't do that ethically. And so from my discovery, I walked out of the industry and took a lot to do that. A lot of people wouldn't do that. A lot of people didn't do that. So getting back to the harm that they cause, it shuts down the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is the butterfly shaped gland on the front of our throat. And that generates T3, triidothyronine, and T4, thyroxin. And that's active thyroid hormone. T4 is the one that gets converted. Guess where 90% of the conversion happens? In the liver, T4 to T3. What does T3 do? Well, it allows our cells to generate energy. This is very, very fundamental. Without thyroid, we can't generate energy. We can't utilize oxygen. So nothing else matters. None of the supplements you're taking. In fact, a lot of the supplements you're taking are probably stopping that process. One of those is omega-3 DHA. So throw it in the trash. It not only inhibits oxygen, it steals it from your blood because it's called lipid peroxidation. And when these unstable PUFAs, or even worse, HUFAs, which is DHA, when these break down in the blood, these rob oxygen from your tissues, from your cells, literally causes cellular suffocation. Your cells can't breathe. That's also called stress. And that is a main thing that DHA causes is stress. It also leads to osteoporosis, heart disease, mainly diabetes and aging. We've been taught that advanced glycation end products are the combination of sugar binding with protein and rendering proteins unable to renew and replicate. That's not true. Advanced glycation end product related inflammatory fibrosis is caused by HUFA and PUFA, but mainly HUFA. So ages, these, these compounds that age us are caused by DHA. They're caused by HUFA and PUFA, highly unsaturated and polyunsaturated fatty acids. Guess what DHA also causes? Lipofuscin, progressive lipofuscinosis, yellow fat disease, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, all of these names. And you won't find this on Google. This is the thing. Google is one of the worst places to research because you type in omega-3 DHA and you'll get page after page after page of look at this study and it's all positive. But when you type in lipofuscin or yellow fat disease, you start to go down different rabbit holes, but you'll still get blocked because Google doesn't like that kind of research. So yellow fat disease is another compound that's formed. I hope you're seeing a pattern here that forms a lot of dangerous compounds one of which are lipoprotein age pigments. And these pigments accumulate in the tissues, the heart, the brain, the retina, the retinal pigmented epithelial cells, testes, ovaries, everywhere, the muscles, the thyroid, the liver, and it shuts them down. It actually inhibits energy production. This is a primary cause of aging. We all know about calcification. A lot of us don't know about lipofuscin. Lipofuscin plus calcification equals extreme aging. So it's one thing to eat fish once a week, but you're mainly doing that for the minerals, the selenium, the zinc, the copper. People do oysters. It's not the DHA you're after, it's those trace minerals that are very abundant in seafood. I still don't recommend that. I think you can get those from other sources. I like eggs, I like raw dairy. But when you supplement, that dramatically increases the rate of cancer. Ray Pete talks about this, that the recommendation for essential fatty acid intake is equal to increasing the risk of cancer. I think it's a 40% increase. And I'm just talking about taking you know, a gram or two a day. And this is not a quick death. This takes a long time but it accumulates. 
So you want to stop accumulating it. You want to throw your supplement in the trash and you want to deplete it. And you can deplete that with saturated fat. And so saturated fat is the antidote to polyunsaturated fats. So limit your nuts, your seeds, your grains, your soy, your legumes, and maximize your ghee, coconut oil, eggs, butter, cheese, milk, all from good sources. Those are gonna to start to displace these fatty acids in your tissue. Because as we age, they say, oh, the brain's made of DHA. That's another marketing scheme that these oil salesmen use. Well, okay, if, if the brain is made of DHA that easily peroxidizes, and when we sleep, we know that the brain's regenerating and recycling, they've found that older people, when they go to sleep and they have a ton of poofa that have accumulated for 40 years in their brain, brain degeneration goes through the roof. Because like I said, there's heat, there's oxygen. You're oxidizing all that DHA in your brain as you sleep, if you're over 40, that causes dementia, Alzheimer's, neurodegeneration, all of these diseases. We bought a bill of goods that the brain is made of DHA. And it's easy to read that. You Google it. Yeah, the brain's made of fat. It's made of this type of fat. It's like, okay, who's saying that? Who's funding the 20,000 studies? It's NASA and Martin Marietta or MarTech, defense weapons contracting manufacturer. Whoa, maybe we should start looking at who's funding the studies. And a lot of this is just a circle. So they'll send you to the study and that study is being funded by the supplement marketers. And round and round she goes, where it stops, nobody knows. That's how these studies work. And we have to start realizing that all this new research, they use these buzzwords on you, autophagy, and here's a supplement to go with it, and this new exciting research, and it's always new, 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 we're discovering more and more. You know, guys, we already discovered it all. And a lot of it was done in the early 1900s. We know how the body works. We know it runs on sugar. This is physiology 101. We know the cell runs on glucose. And we know that when it doesn't get it, AKA when you're fasting, you run on cortisol and adrenaline. And we know that cortisol and adrenaline, physiology 101, go back to school, that breaks down the tissues and the fat breaks down the muscle. What's in the muscle? Well, inflammatory amino acids that super inflame the body. Breaks down the fat. What's in the fat? DHA, HUFA, PUFA. These oxidize, exacerbate the stress. So omega-3s and stress exacerbate each other. It's hard to be stressed when you're deficient in DHA because you have that protection of the saturated fat that are super stable. But when you're full of PUFA and your fat stores and you're stressed and you start breaking down that fat, that accelerates the stress through the roof. Check out Kate Deering's book, How to Heal Your Metabolism. Go to chapter three called Polyunsaturated Fats, Toxic, Not Essential. And I'll just read you the summary here. It's a whole chapter on why they're not essential. PUFAs can accelerate aging, decrease immune function, slow your metabolism. That's a big one. 40% slower metabolism with PUFA, especially if you supplement it. Increased weight gain and causes obesity and, and hormonal imbalance. A high PUFA diet can encourage cancer, autoimmune diseases, diabetes, and heart disease. So this includes sunflower oil, safflower oil, soybean oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, vegetable oil, almond oil, walnut oil, peanut oil, grapeseed oil, canola oil, fish oil, and I would add algae oil, and omega-3 and omega-6 oils. PUFAs are hidden in healthy and organic prepackaged and snack foods, chips, crackers, cookies, popcorn, frozen dinners, soups, ice cream, alternative dairy products, and pre-made meals at your healthy grocery store. So look into it, look into Dr. Raymond P, PhD, look into Albert St. Georgie, look into Adam Bergstrom, 
and I'll post a bunch of links below for you to continue your research. I'm just introducing this to you. Please research it for the children. Children born with an EFA deficiency do a lot better than ones that have DHA that the mother is taking and it hurts the mother as well. So do your research, keep learning, stay committed to the truth, stay committed to the women, the children, the animals, the innocent that can't protect themselves. Let's watch out for marketers. Let's protect each other. Let's let each other know what's going on, who's in it for the right reasons, and let's keep going forward.